Hi guys, today we're going to tell you all the things you must know before travelling to Melbourne, Australia. First we're going to start off with driving. One big difference here in Melbourne is that cars drive on the left hand side of the road. Unlike most other cities in the world, it's also important to note that driving rules are really strict here and rules are heavily policed. Uh, if you're a temporary resident then you don't require a Victoria driver's license but you will need to show your international driver's permit or overseas license. Also you'll need to be driving a registered and roadworthy car. Google Maps is a good tip and it works really well if you're using it for navigating around Melbourne. Trams in the city are free. Um, if you are going from one side of the city to the other side, don't forget that trams are free within the free tram zone in the city centre. This way you can travel to CBD attractions such as the Queen Victoria Market, cafes, restaurants and also to all the train stations in the city loop as well as Flinders Street Station and Southern Cross Station. These trams tend to get quite busy and full and that is why it's also a handy reminder to remember that you don't have to touch on with your Mikey Pass while riding trams within the free tram zone. Melbourne is well known for making some of the best coffee in the world, however there are not many options for quirky types of coffee. Coffee as a whole is not usually drunk so sweet down here. Uh, other cities around the world offer many different choices of coffee such as chestnut latte, strawberry, sweet potato latte and so on. However, Melbourne for the most part has a very limited offering when it comes to coffee. The main choices are flat white, latte, cappuccino and sometimes if you're lucky you can get matcha. Keep in mind also that a chai can mean loose leaf tea or a vanilla chai latte which is from a powdered form and that's also very popular. Iced coffee too can vary depending on what cafe you order from. Sometimes it can mean just coffee with ice, sometimes with milk and also sometimes can mean with ice cream or with whipped cream. So it's good to know all about Aussie coffee if you're thinking of getting a barista job while you're down here. Pubs, bars and club locations. Make sure when you're going out to not just stick to the usual famous streets. Uh, many of the best night spots and cafes for that matter are hidden. So some of the best bars and night spots in general are located down laneways, alleyways, even some great ones are also hidden within other bars. So if you want to find some great places then you can click on the link in the description below for a comprehensive guide of Melbourne. Everything closes so early in Australia if you are contemplating a late night stroll through Melbourne to go shopping or to hit up a cafe then you may be disappointed. Many cafes and retail shops close at 5 p.m. and on weekends things can be even worse with many cafes closing as early as 2 p.m. Because of this, make sure to check the opening hours on Google before heading out. The upside to this is if you manage to work in retail or hospitality, you may be able to secure some better shifts without having to work such late hours and also reclaim your weekend. Melbourne weather, get ready for some crazy weather down here in Melbourne. Weather is so unpredictable here in Melbourne that even the weather apps get it wrong within a day's forecast. So regardless of the season, you will need to be constantly checking the weather forecast as even in summer you can get a winter's day. That's why it may be a good idea to dress in layers as the mornings can be quite chilly even if the forecast is for like a really hot 30 degree day and the temperature can also drop rapidly at times uh, with cool changes happening very fast. They say Melbourne has four seasons in a day and unfortunately this saying can definitely ring true. Bring your ID when buying drinks. Uh, make sure to bring ID with you when purchasing alcoholic drinks from bottle shops. You'll also need it with you when ordering drinks at pubs, bars and clubs. Passport ID is fine, um, but just make sure you have something on you because you don't want to miss out. Drink sizes and BYO. Schooners pretty much don't exist here in Victoria. It's a really rare find here. And mostly a choice of size will be a pot or a pint. A pot is 285 mil, while a pint is about 570 mil. A jug of beer is your biggest size at 1140 mils. And if you go out with friends, then jugs of beer are a common choice to share around a table with mates. If you see a BYO sign on a restaurant, then it means you can bring your own wine. Uh, just be aware that sometimes this means that you have to pay a small corkage fee, but it's a great way to save money on drinks while still enjoying eating and drinking at a great restaurant. Bikes and scooters. It's important to know that you can't ride bikes on footpaths in Victoria, unlike other states in Australia. Some roads have dedicated bike lanes, but not all. So you, you also must wear a helmet when riding a bike or scooter. Scooters are available to buy or hire, but illegal to drive one that is above 200 watts. There are however options for electric scooter hire companies Lime and Neuron. Neuron scooters allow you to pay per ride or to buy daily, weekly or monthly passes. So that way it ends up being a lot cheaper. No tip culture. Australia isn't big on tipping like some other countries and especially now since the pandemic um, has meant an almost cashless society and tipping is rare and unnecessary. A tip jar is usually available but there is no pressure at all to have to tip if you don't want to. Uh, but if you like the service and have the change then by all means feel free if you like. Thanks for watching. Um, we really hope that this video um, helps you kind of navigate Melbourne a little easier when you come here for the first time. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.